Hello, my name is Fazal Ghazi, and I'm a 2022 Junior Fellow at the Library of Congress, working in the Connecting Communities Digital Initiative. For my project, I'm creating a story map exploring the manifestations of love in the poetry, miniature painting, and calligraphy of the trans-regional Persian world starting from the medieval era. I use archives from the library's Persian language rare materials collection, which is comprised of over 300 items from throughout Central, South, and West Asia. This project centers a critical lens that challenges both nationalist notions of identity, as well as how histories of colonialism and imperialism have brought forth Orientalist approaches to this literature. This project focuses on the intersections of the three artistic disciplines with the central theme of passionate love or ish, both in its sacred manifestations as well as its earthly human form. Common poetic forms include the Rubaiyat, the Masnavi, and the Ghaza, like the one shown here. In poetry, there are three general approaches to love. In the first, Ishq Majazi, or earthly human love, is recounted by poets like Nizami and Ferdowsi through the romances of star-crossed lovers, or poems where the object of desire takes a literal human form. In this painting, Majnun and Leila faint from passion after seeing each other for the first time after a long separation. Other poets like Jami, shown here, as well as Amir Khosro and Molana, epitomize devotion rooted in Islamic mysticism called Tasawwuf and wrote of Ishq Habibi, or sacred love for the divine beloved, which is considered true love. Sufi poems like this one by Molana, who is better known in the West as Rumi, have historically been subject to Orientalist interpretations which would invisibilize Islam. However, by rooting the works in the original context, we would know, for example, that in this poem when Rumi says, give me wine, wine is a metaphor for divine love and union. A third approach embodied by Hafez and Saadi is intentionally ambiguous in describing the beloved as either human or divine. Perhaps nowhere else is the intergenerational transmission of knowledge better embodied than in the tradition of calligraphy, which has been passed down through lines of master calligraphers to their students. Scripts like Nastalik and Shekaste gave form to the poetic verses and enjoyed trans-regional adoption and popularity throughout Persian lands. Exquisitely detailed miniature paintings illuminate the manuscripts of poets and narrate their stories. Rather than think of them as three separate entities, these different artistic disciplines all coalesce on the page of the manuscript. With poetry as a central root, this project seeks to explore how writers and artists engage in dialogue across time and space, and how these conversations about love manifest in their art. I want to thank the Library of Congress and the Connecting Communities Digital Initiative for their support throughout this project.